Please read the disclaimer. Welcome, I'm Bio, and now we're moving into the Simple Wii series, not the Simple 2000 Wii series, with Volume 1, known as the Mina di Kart Race, which uh, I guess tra roughly translates to the World Kart Race or something like that. I think I think that's what it means. Don't quote me on that. I think I think. So this one was developed by Toze. First, I've never seen Toze develop a a, D, uh, a game for D3 before. And from the looks of it, it's possible that Toze potentially could have developed all of these games because they all have similar art style, this kind of chibi-looking art style. So it wouldn't surprise me if I'm honest. Well, let's uh, let's jump right into it. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one player, I guess. Just gonna have to keep select, 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 basically. In case you wonder what the blue screen is, I think it's missing text or something with the emulator's not bringing up the text. It's like memory card or something. Anyway. So we'll pick a file. A character to play as. Now, where are we from? Looking for the UK. The UK is not an option. Uh, at least I don't think so. Well, maybe gin. GBR. That's Great Britain. GBR. GBR might be it. Yeah, GBR must be it because you got French and Spanish and Italian. So it must be. Okay. So we're from there. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can. It seems like no. This seems to be way more responsive than the previous previous game for selecting names and whatnot. In the same distance. Correct. Uh, disc. Uh, we can customize, kinda. Oh, we can give him purple hair. That's cool. Give him dark purple hair. So we got kind of like a customizable things we can give him. So that's cool. You can customize how your character looks slightly. Oh yes, I want a bear shirt. Give him the t-shirt. Okay. And we can make that purple as well. Why not? It's make it like a dark purple. That's fine. Oh. Oh, I just noticed his hair didn't go to purple. Why? Am I supposed to press 1 to say yes, that is the color I want? I don't know. Okay. Purple eyes. He is going to be the epitome of purple. With a, he is going to be the purple man. Now let's make him a ghost. He is a ghost man. Okay, I don't think we can really give him too much customization. That'll do. That'll do for him. Okay. So we've we've created our guy. Let's go. Let's go. Right? Don't know what it's doing. Okay, I think it's saved. Okay, here we go. Finally, we're getting to races. Before, you know, the menus alone were a bit of a pain, but here we are. We're finally here. Okay, so we've got three carts we can go with, like a jeep. I like the jeep. Let's go with the jeep. 
Oh, we can go with purple. Purple and gold, boys. There we go. Okay, okay. Don't know the controls. Okay, so I'm using the... I'm u okay, so I've got... I've got tilt controls I've got to use. So basically, imagine Mario Kart Wii where you got to use the tilt controls to go. Okay. What's drift? I'd love to know what drift is. That'd be great. Oh. Okay. I didn't do well with As you can see, I'm not doing too well now that there's loads of turns, mainly because it... you're using tilt controls. Like, what do you expect? I hate motion controls. I'm, cu I'm only looking at this series because it's part of the simple series. I hate motion controls. No. Now, you may go, oh, so you hate motion controls. Yes, but I can give you a completely valid reason. I hate motion controls in a game that doesn't need motion controls. That's what I hate. So, Wii Sports Resort, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, the the 30, the 30 great games, family party game, whatever it was, no issue. No issue whatsoever, because those games are made for the motion controls. This is not. I could release this on the PlayStation 2 and have just use, you using the PlayStation 2 controller and it would be way more functional than it is currently. You know, I'm so basically you gotta let go of the to, to do like the drifting you gotta let go of the accelerator turn and then press the accelerator again that's basically how you do the drift it's not great it could be better this game what the fuck was that and that completely fucked me I'm getting random boosts here. I don't really understand. Am I slipstreaming? I don't know what I'm doing to make this happen. But it's more fucking me over than anything, if I'm honest. You should see how I'm holding the controller. It's really weird. You gotta remember, the only one button is to go, right? So you got no reason to hold the other end of the controller. So it just ends up feeling really weird holding the controller the way you are. At least for me, it does. It feels really weird. So there we go, we've managed to finish in first, even with the handicap of motion controls. So, what what do I have to say about this game, exactly? It's a standard kart racing game, just from that race alone, it's pretty standard. Got five points for that, from the looks of it. Move on to the next track now. But there's no other button. There's not like there's... It's a bit boring, if I'm honest. There's no power-ups or anything like that, which is what you generally get in a kart racing game. You haven't got that. Visually, it looks okay. Again, Wii games generally look quite nice. Oh, that's very nice. Wii games generally look quite nice on the emulator. Obviously, I'm sucking at the turning because I don't do motion control turning for racing games. Like I said... I could play this with a controller, it wouldn't really be like a proper just PlayStation 2 controller, or even like a classic controller, or or something. And I'd have a much better time than what I'm having with the motion controls. And I can still play the game, the motion controls are just phoned in in my eyes. If they give you the option to pick between them, then it's not as bad. I haven't seen the back of the box, the back of the box isn't available on GameFQ, so I couldn't tell you if you could use a controller, if I'm honest. I guess I could only just test, try it, and see if it worked it. But then, I feel like it would still be a boring game, because no power-ups, the courses are pretty bland. Like, look at this, right? We're in a canyon, and all you have is the canyon. You don't have any kind of landscape or anything interesting. You don't have that. I'm surprised, even though I'm sucking so much, I'm somehow in first place. I don't know how that works. Again, this is the easiest cup, so it's understandable. You would think there would be at least some challenge, though, wouldn't you? Like how everyone's making like character expressions, my character's like, meh. I don't care. 
So you see me just shaking. I'm just shaking the Wii remote right now. Smack it, smack attack in there again. I'm trying to judge these turns, but again, motion controls, boys, am I right? Mm -hmm. So, in my opinion, like, when it comes to racing games, there's two ways to play a racing game. With some kind of controller, whether it be Xbox 360, PlayStation 2, uh, even mouse and keyboard's absolutely fine. As long as it isn't got any kind of motion to it. Or if you're using an actual steering wheel peripheral. Not motion control, I mean like a proper one plugged in. Like, I've got one, I used to have one of those, I might still have it, I had for the Nintendo 64 which I used to play Scars and V-Rally 3. V-Rally 3 or was it V-Rally 98? I don't know, one of those two. I was playing, I used to play those. I didn't unfortunately have Mario Kart for the uh, for the N64 or else I probably would have played that. It, was there a Mario Kart game for the N64? Yeah, there was. I'm pretty sure there was. In 2D, wasn't it? Kind, yeah, 2D. 3D environments, 2D backgrounds, something like that. 3D environments, 2D characters. What am I on about? So look at that, I was able to, to win that race with relative ease. Yeah. I don't really want to play anymore, if I'm honest. It's kind of bland. Really, really bland game. Uh, this is the ep epitome of budget. Like, with a family party game, it, at least it had a little bit of value to it, even it being a budget game. Same goes for the table game, but the table game has got value because you've got a variety of games. Kind of feel, but it's still standby, like, e either... All right. I don't like you choosing. I don't like you going ahead, even though I'm not pressing any buttons. I hate that in games where it just progresses, even though you're not pressing any buttons. It's really shit, in my opinion. What I was got, trying to say is, before the game rudely interrupted me, uh, is that a table game has merit as a game. You know, it's a variety pack of board games. I've got no issue with that generally speaking, if they do them well, and they do do it, and this series does do it well, or Yuki Enterprise does do the does do it well. But it's the kind of thing you'd kind of... Either you'd have it portable, unless you're a hardcore, one of those hardcore fans of those types of games. I'd even say portable-wise, absolutely fine. That's why the table game on the PSP, great game. Great game, great thing to have on the PSP, to be able to play portably as you go. Or if it was on the PC, when you could play online with friends or something. Which is too bad. I really wish D3 would do a simple PC series where they just go through the back ca back catalog of their games and just like they don't have to don't have to improve the graphics. Just release them on PC, like the table game. I'd love that on PC. I know you got stuff like Table Top Simulator, but it's so finicky. It'd be great to have a game which has already got it all set up for you. There isn't really a good Ricci style Mahjong game on PC. I've played one called like a. Uh, it's got anime girls in it. Um, but you haven't got like Shogi, Hanafuda, these games generally aren't represented particularly well on Steam. So if you had something like the table game, the Wii, the Wii version of the table game, because I thought that was a pretty good version, you got to represent it, then you could play it online with friends and stuff. It'd be a lot of fun. At least I would find it fun. But anyway, that's me rambling. So, what's the bottom line on this on this game, on Mina de Race? Uh, it's a pretty, it's, it's just a budget kart racing game. It's not really anything special, there's no power-ups, there's no... It's not really interesting. The courses are quite boring. The, the architecture of the courses are quite boring. Eh. The character creator kind of seems a bit pointless. Yeah. It's bland is the perfect word to describe this game. Anyway, let's hope the rest of these uh, these uh, games, part of the Wii, simple Wii series with the same art style, aren't the same. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. I'll see you next time when we look at Volume 2 of the simple Wii series. See you later.